This video tutorial covers the Cooperative Child Care Center Spatial Lab, which focuses on customer profiling for growth strategies. The contents of this overview include a, a summary of the, of the process and the importance of customer profiling, an overview of the CCC scenario and how it fits in that process, and then instructions for accessing and opening the Spatial Lab, and performing the steps in the lab, and submitting the answers to the questions that are posed to you in the uh, Spatial Lab. Customer profiling is the process of trying to understand the characteristics of customers both from a demographic and a lifestyle perspective. It's a very important process for marketers to understand their customer needs more fully and to identify uh, groups of very attractive customers that might be attractive to their product. It defines the demographic characteristics of core customers and identifies lifestyle segments that are present in the customer base at, at, at concentrations that are greater than the overall uh, population and then therefore it enables targeted merchandising, penetration, and expansion strategies, which all, all of which present growth opportunities to organizations. Business GIS contributes to this process by attaching demographic and lifestyle data specifically to customer records so that you can estimate and infer those characteristics of customers uh, based on that information. And it uses those summaries to create key demographic and lifestyle characteristic profiles that help understand what those core characteristics of customers are. It provides insight into those customer values and purchasing patterns and therefore it allows firms to identify concentrations of attractive new markets and new customers. In this particular scenario, the Cooperative Child Care Center is an innovative child care facility in Minneapolis. It offers convenient hours and cooperative services to busy parents uh, that allows them to fit their child care consumption uh, to the schedules that they have within their families. The firm wishes to grow by serving its current customers more efficiently, but also by identifying growth opportunities in its current markets and also new locations within the Minneapolis area. The owners, Susan Jensen and Mary Louise Baker, uh, would like you to map the locations of current clients and display their distribution, assign demographic, assign demographic values to clients and create a demographic profile, determine the major tapestry segments in the customer base for lifestyle segmentation, and then use this information to support strategies for improving services, for penetrating the existing market, and expanding new locations. And they have used you as the business GIS consultant to perform these tasks. To do so, you will work through the steps in the spatial lab. Uh, you'll open the spatial lab by, within the map, selecting the layer that is identified as click on the map to open an instructions box. And once you've done that, if you click inside the map, you'll open a pop-up. Uh, that pop-up window gives you access to the spatial lab itself by using a double-click operation or right-click and save procedure to download the file to your system. You'll then open that download in Microsoft Word. This visual shows you what that looks like in the map itself. And so you'll simply follow the instructions uh, in the, in the, in the pop-up window uh, to download the spatial lab and get started. Once you've done that, you will follow the steps in the lab to attach demographic values to clients with a spatial overlay procedure, to create and review a demographic profile of the firm's clients, and to preview the tapestry segments that are dominant within the firm's client base, and then use these profiles to identify growth strategies through market penetration and market expansion. Let's review the Spatial Lab itself and see those steps as we proceed. Them. When you open the Spatial Lab, you'll see an introduction that provides more background information about the scenarios, much as we have described earlier, but in more detail. Some more information about the lab itself and an overview of the tasks that you're going to perform. As you start to perform those tasks, you will manipulate the contents of the map to display data on household size by block group in the area, the location of this firm's clients, and its central location in the Minneapolis area. You will then go through the process of a spatial overlay, which means that you will look at a layer of, of client records that have been geocoded by location so that you can see where they are uh, within the market area. You'll get an overview to the process of spatial overlay by which the demographic and, and lifestyle values of each customer are estimated based on the block group in which they live. And then you'll use those to create a demographic profile, which illustrates the characteristics of this firm's client base relative to the general population of Minneapolis and St. Paul. 
using a similar procedure, the major tapestry segments of, of the customer base are identified and you'll view a table that tells you how they are distributed with the client base uh, compared to the general population of Minneapolis and St. Paul and you'll see that there are four basic tapestry segments that comprise a large portion of that customer base. You will review some summary descriptions of those segments and then consider how these segment descriptions will help you serve that customer base uh, more effectively and more fully. You will then start to use some of this lifestyle information to target two types of growth patterns. The first is to look for opportunities within the immediate vicinity of the current location in which, can, in which you can achieve a higher level of market penetration. And in this case, they are illustrated in darker colors. You will consider a second growth approach uh, in which you will try and identify areas within the Minneapolis-St. Paul uh, CBSA uh, and where there are concentrations of similar popu population population of similar characteristics to your core customers that will allow you to identify opportunities for uh, second and third locations for uh, the organization to expand. And then once you have done that analysis, uh, you will answer the three questions that are included in the template uh, and submit your work. More specifically, you will perform all the steps of the special lab and then use the tapestry segmentation insights to improve the marketing strategies in question one. You will identify opportunities for market penetration, that is more greater uh, number of customers at the current location in question two, and for market expansion in question three, that is other locations within the Minneapolis-St. Paul statistical area uh, in which you might open new stores or new locations for CCC uh, managers. And then you'll submit your report as directed by your instructor. And that concludes this video tutorial on the Cooperative Child Care Center Special Lab. Good luck as you pursue this project.